All right, thank you. With Bob McKenzie and our TSN scout, Craig Button, we normally don't like to give away too much before we unveil a list, Bob's top 10 rankings. But we'll give you this. The top two players on the list are Seth Jones and Nathan McKinnon. They're above the field right now. You'll have to wait until the show to find out exactly which order they go in. Let's talk about both of them. What makes Seth Jones special? Well, I think it's just a combination of he's a great athlete. He's got unbelievable skill, and he's got size and brawn to go with it. And you see that type of a complete package in a player that moves around the ice and can impact the game in any situation under any type of circumstance. They're very unique types of players. What about McKinnon, besides the fact he comes from Sidney Crosby's hometown? Well, he's an elite offensive player. He's got tremendous ability to score goals. He's been dynamic in that way. He tore up the uh, Quebec Major Junior Hockey League with the Halifax Moose as a 16-year-old last year. Uh, he was terrific at the under-18 tournament, the Ivan Holinka in August. So he's got that elite offensive ability. And even though he's not six foot four in terms of being that big center, in terms of being the guy who scores big goals as a centerman, this would be the guy. Scored three goals, a hat-trick in the gold medal game, which Canada won at that Ivan Holinka tournament. If it gets down to these two come June, you know the scouts will be picky and looking for little flaws in their game. So what do they need to improve on? Let's start with McKinnon. You think the scouts will be picky? Yeah, no question they will be. And I think with McKinnon, I think if any knock is on him, questions maybe about his vision. I think if anything, he tries to do too much at times. But that's something that I feel is developmental. But maybe, perhaps, maybe not as good a playmaker as the scouts would like to see. Are there weaknesses in Jones? Well, I think consistency of effort. And I mean from shift to shift, from game to game. When the scouts see this guy that, as Craig points out, has, is so athletic and he's so big and he's so strong and he's so fast and he has the ability to literally take games over, especially offensively, if you don't do that consistently, then they're starting to wonder why. And I think they're, they're waiting to see if he's going to pick that up in the Western Hockey League this year playing for Portland. This pair has been linked as the top two prospects for many months now, and they've become good buddies because of it and like to 